like many other countries around the world, um, our country, our population, our kababayans, after the Omicron surge, have significant population protection against COVID-19. And so the cases are dropping, they drop really quickly, and we expect them to continue to drop even more. Mm -hmm. So we're anticipating looking at numbers like we saw at the beginning of December in the next month or so. And so just like many other countries around the world, the Philippines is preparing to transition from a pandemic to an endemic stage because it will take time pa because many of our Kababayans are very scared of COVID. So we have to be patient with them and we have to encourage them to learn to understand that COVID is different now than it was one year ago, especially during the Delta surge. So there will be, we are not at the endemic stage yet, but we have to learn to transition to that endemic stage to prepare for what it is like to live uh, alongside COVID in a way that will help us to live our normal lives and still be careful and be vigilant against COVID-19. Father, para lang po mas maintindihan ng mga nanonood sa atin, ano po ba ang pinagkaiba ng pandemic at saka po endemic? Thank you for that question. So, pandemic is a crisis situation. So, when you have a pandemic, the the virus is so um, the virus will make enough people sick that our hospitals will become full or people will die. Uh, when you have an endemic virus like the flu, what will happen is that the virus is still there, but most people who get that virus will hopefully not have to go to the hospital and they, have, they can just stay at home and be treated at home. And as we saw in the Omicron surge, most of our Kababayans who were uh, who became sick with COVID-19, Omicron COVID-19, um, most of them were able to stay at home to take paracetamol and vitamins and zinc and drink water and rest, and they recovered without going to the hospital. So this is what we hope will be for the for the future of the COVID-19 virus that most of us will learn to live with it. This is called endemic. Mm-hmm. So we will not have to have the kind of lockdowns, the kind of of, of a crisis that we've experienced over the last two years. Pero speaking po of uh, endemic, mapunta lang ako dun sa mga usap-usapan na baka it's about time na tanggalin na daw yung alert level system. Are we ready, Father, dito po sa Pilipinas na tanggalin na yun? Well, I think what is going to happen is we have to transition the alert level, the COVID-19 alert level system so it will look like the typhoon signal warning system. Diba? So right now, there is no typhoons, but the signal system is there. And so when they see a typhoon entering the Philippine area of responsibility, Pag-asa will raise alert signal one. So what you can imagine in the future is that the alert level system for COVID-19 will remain. But for the most part, we will not talk about it. We will not hear about it until the Department of Health will see a variant of concern somewhere in the world. And so when we see that variant of concern, then the Department of Health will declare alert level one. And if it becomes more and more serious, we will go up alert level one, alert level two. But then once the way, once that variant of concern passes, uh, the alert level system will again be forgotten in the same way that typhoon signal warnings are forgotten after the typhoon passes. Mm, so kumbaga, mas maigi kung yung alert level system nandyan lang yan para anytime na magkaroon tayo ng kailangan natin, nandyan lang siya to declare. Correct. But uh-huh. we do not live in typhoon signal zero, di ba? Yeah. I mean, no one, right now, we do not think of ourselves as living in the typhoon signal zero because there's no typhoon. So in the same way, in the future, when there's no variant of concern that we have to be worried about, we will live our ordinary daily lives without thinking about the alert level system. Mm-hmm. Father, bago ko po ibalik kay uh, Jovi, how, how soon do you see na may experience natin yung endemic? Ah, you see, endemic is a transition. So it will take time for... Our, our kababayans to really learn to live with it. Because like my mother, she's a senior citizen. She's still very nervous about going out, even though she has been vaccinated and boosted. So it's not just a medical situation. It's a mindset, Papo. Mm-hmm. So we have to wait. It will, The mindset has to change. Our kababayans have to, you know, our children have to go back to school. Our workers have to go back to the office. 
and our people have to go back outside. And it will take time for all of those three to happen. And once those happen, we will learn to live with the virus in an endemic stage. So it, it's not really only about the virus. It's also about the behavior of our people. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nako, uh, sige, Father, pa, ano na lang, ano, ahinga lang namin kayo ng, uh, ng inyong mga huling mga payo sa ating mga kababayan. Pagdating po dun sa, uh, well, pag-iingat, uh, basically po, no, kahit na tayo po ay medyo nagluwag na at, uh, you know, para lang, uh, uh, eh, parang parang marigbari siya ating endemic level kasi parang dapat masanay na rin talaga tayo But to live with the virus. Live with that, yeah. eh, no po? So it's better to just say we have to learn to live with the virus and uh, some of us will learn to live with it faster than others. Mm -hmm. So it will take time for our entire people to learn to live with it. But my, again, my hope is by Christmas, by Pasco, we will have learned to adjust to live with the virus so in the same way we learn to live with the flu. 